Sup, Airsofters. Hey, how about that, huh? New intro. Um, I kind of wanted to make a, a little video here um, talking about sniper ops, uh, stuff that you need for it. Uh, it's kind of like the bare minimum of uh, what you want to have, or in some, in some cases, some absolute must-haves. Uh, I don't really have kind of a, uh, a format for doing this. This is my first, like, you know, featuring gear or whatever. And I have a kind of a lot of information to go over in a very short period of time. So I, I guess I should get on it. All right. First and foremost, something that, uh, well, I, I want to get this out of the way real quick because it's on my, on my brain. I'm sure that everybody is, like, uh, dragging and they're rolling their eyes behind the screen or whatever. And what is it with this sniper ops things? I am not a sniper ops player. I play milsim or, I'm, you know, I'm just, you know, a general airsoft player. Well, from my own personal likes, you know, I'm a bolt action user. I'm an airsoft you know, sniper. You know, it's not actually a, te a correct technical term. But, uh, you know, as far as like airsoft goes, uh, you know, my predominant role is you know, bolt action sniping use. And uh, if I could, I mean, if they, it, if it could grow into the, uh, the bread and butter of what I do at Airsoft, I would do it absolutely full time, all the time, and really not focus on anything else. Because that is how much fun I have had with it. And uh, it's an intense game. It's a, it's a wonderful type of game system. Uh, specifically designed for bolt action use, bolt action snipers, um, in airsoft, and it's it's fabulous. I mean, absolutely fabulous. And uh, I still do the the other stuff, but you know, I'm trying to like gear up as cooler weather is fixing to start coming in to get ready for uh, sniper ops and uh, put some heavy focus on there because I think once players get in and play the game and experience it. It's going to grow like wildfire. And uh, there's a lot of other riding on there. Uh, while y'all are at it, you know, uh, go over there to Facebook and uh, check out my sponsor, you know, um, Longbow BBs. They got some great stuff, and it's not going to be just BBs here fairly soon. I don't know, like, release dates or anything, but there's a, a little bit more coming that's going to, going to amaze and impress everybody. But anyways, let's get to the gear that's, that's needed for sniper ops. Now, first thing I want to go over is like, while you're playing sniper ops, and I should be providing most of this stuff, but you're going to want like some sort of riding utensil. A lot of guys like to pack these in their gear or whatever. I'm going to try to supply like some sort of pens or markers or something to use while we're out, out playing it. And uh, everybody will get issued a card. I don't know if you can see that well or not. Let me get it centered there. Um, you know, it's just a simple index card. Uh, it's got the name of or call sign of your sniper on it. Uh, your respawn ID, unless you're a hunter, you won't have this until the end of the game. Um, and this one is set up for a sniper operative. The UID, unique ID code of objectives that you, you shoot and reach, you know, should get listed there. And if you want to, you can, you know, also kind of keep track of who you've shot or whatever. Uh, during play it's not super important unless you're a hunter instead of having uids on the uh hunter's side he'll be listing who he shot and uh as best as he can he can guess you know it can even give a description guy with a uh, grass gillet you know guy with the leafy suit you know dragon you know etc cetera, etc cetera. is that's how the hunters score the points and the uh, sniper score points by listing the uh, the objective uh uids after they've been shot uh, the next thing everybody does need, this is a must-have, large field of red, dead rag of some sort for whenever you're hit and out of play, so everybody knows knows that safety issue. Of course, another must-have, uh, eye pro of some sort. Now, a lot of guys like to try to play with, like, say what I'm wearing here, they don't have any kind of sealant system in there. Um, that's generally a no-go because you never know where a heavyweight BB is going to be coming from. They can like push your skin out of the way, even on a soft seal and get behind there. I don't want anybody to lose their eyesight. Nobody wants to be the guy that shoots anybody to make them lose their eyesight. So let's, 
do the safe and secure and try to get something that's full ceiling. I don't mind if it's mesh or polycarbonate, it's whatever you know the preference of the uh, of the player is. Um, the next thing that is definitely a need is a working two-way radio. You don't have to get one as advanced as mine or you know a boa thing or something. You know regular uh, midlands or uh, cobras or whatever will work. Everybody that plays sniper ops will be on the same channel. There is no electronic warfare involved. And the reason why we're all on the same channel is, is because we will be calling things like when the official game starts, uh, when the hunter objective is up, um, the hunter uh, will occasionally call out whenever he's, you know, taking down an operative. Um, and we can communicate in case there's any kind of emergency that pops up. And uh, you don't have to have, actually, I recommend not wearing a, like a throat mic and headset set up while playing sniper ops. Just leave your radio on, or leave it on, you know, really low so don't try to give your position away. And the only thing I really ask of uh, operatives is, is like if it makes Roger beeps or, uh, you know, has a call signal, you know, uh, to disable those. Um, because uh, nothing will kind of make everybody else mad is have their locations, you know, uh, compromised because somebody laid on a, a call button. Um, we're getting a lot of Roger beeps. All right, so those are kind of like, oh, well, that's not the, not the end of all the must-haves. Everybody needs a CQB legal sidearm, you know, uh, and your CQB uh, within a hundred feet engagement distance legal safety use that closed sidearm and uh, you know let me grab this everybody needs a bolt action rifle bolt action rifle um, my SVD is not a DMR it is a bolt action rifle uh, Bolt action is super duper important to use uh, because it is a game of uh, of stealth and uh, you know somewhat makes you work on your your bolt action your shooting skills. We don't allow um, as a base in sniper ops uh, the ability to continuously walk shots in rapid succession into a target. Um, it's just, it's a dynamics thing. It's not like, a, you know, a front against DMR or anything like that. I have DMRs. I use those too, at, you know, and Milsim play and stuff like that. It's nothing like that. Just the dynamics of sniper ops is totally based around bolt action. And it just does not work well with, you know, semi-auto and high, higher capacity, even if they're mid-caps, uh, magazines in play. Uh, anyways. And then the things that you'll want, you know, of course, you'll want some sort of camo system. Uh, yeah, these are new. Hey, Cryptek. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Uh, some of those um, went over the dead rag. You know, some sort of uh, concealment system. Now, you don't have to go super expensive. You don't have to do what I, I'm going to do and, you know, enhance a 3D leafy. But, you know, I got just a portion of this material I like to use a lot or some it's like the bushy 3d leafy this is just a portion of it that I cut off that was extra I hadn't used um, just to kind of showcase you know I got light fluffy leaves on that um, this one here is the uh, 3d leafy top that I'll be enhancing later on uh, for most of my participation in the sniper ops or you know you can you know go uh, more traditional a grass type of ghillie. Um, I don't really recommend these commercial types because the coloration just really isn't great. But, you know, even I have them and I've used them. Anything that breaks up your outline is going to greatly help you in, in the environment as long as it doesn't, you know, excuse me, as long as it doesn't stand out too much. Um, you can use these. They're very budget friendly. I mean, you can get them, you know, Anywhere from 25 to 40 bucks off of Amazon, eBay, a uh, bunch of sites, you know, Dickie Sporting Goods, whatever. Um, this one here, I'm probably going to trim on and, and cut some uh, cut some of the lightweight material out and use it to help enhance my uh, uh, ghillie. I got about nine or ten of these things. 
And let's see here. And of course, last but not least, you know, you want your rig. Now I haven't enhanced my rig yet. This is, uh, it's gonna change too. But uh, this is, I run a minimalist rig, uh, a belt and suspender system. Um, I mean, you can wear plate carriers, chest harnesses, whatever. Uh, however it is that you need to carry your, your essential gear for uh, sniper ops. Uh, I'm going to do some painting and uh, adding 3D le uh, sneaky leaves to mine uh, to make it blend with my other setups pretty good. You know, same thing with the, the iPro I'll be featuring, although I'm going to get better iPro. I got uh, Hero Shark working on me a new, new goggle system. And those are the bare essentials for sniper ops. And I uh, don't, those are the things that you'll kind of want and some of them that you, that you kind of need. Uh, I can't stress enough how well this game system, uh, you know, plays out and works. It's a very simple system. Anybody can pick this up and, and run it. And I'm hoping that, like, all across the United States. I mean, we've already got, a, like, a, a chapter started in California. I was talking to a guy about starting one in Georgia. Um, you know, a little bit of interest, you know, from here and there from, uh, you know, snipers that want to play this in the United States. You know, it's really, 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 really big over there in the UK, England, uh, Europe area, era, uh, area, I should say. I need a drink here. Coffee. Yeah, it makes the world go around. But uh, it's it, it's a super, I mean, for bullet action use, uh, it really, like, in the test games that I, I had run and participated in, I, for the first time ever in my entire long span of using a bolt action rifle in airsoft whatsoever, I actually felt like I was an actual airsoft sniper because you're doing sniper things. You're doing the stalking. You're trying to be concealed. You're trying to be quiet. You're trying to uh, reach objectives and uh, record them without being seen, shot, compromised. You know, it's it's a totally different ball game than being just completely self-inserted into a uh, milsim environment where you're effectively trying to compete in combat a uh, chaotic battlefield to begin with, because uh, Murphy's Law and Airsoft, nothing ever goes as planned. And on top of the chaos, there's the added aspects of extended and... Uh, Almost an unrealistic and ridiculous amount of firepower to contend with. And just inserting yourself into a milsim environment as a bolt action user, you're coming in at a uh, super huge disadvantage. Even if you're outranging the uh, average LMGs and AEGs out there on the field and can utilize you know, positions and hides and uh, things like that, a lot of times, milsim events don't really even include objectives for you to do as a bolt action user. You're, you know, having to go with a squad or, you know, support a squad in some way. Um, you're more or less just another player out there on the field. And sniper ops kind of changes that. You, now, this is uh, sniper ops is where you get to shine as a uh, sniper, as an airsoft sniper, as an operative, you know, doing the role. Uh, and that makes it a lot cooler. It makes it, it makes it a lot funner. Now, just a quick word on bolt actions. You know, of course, you know, I featured my SVD, which I'm actually still working on. I got some new stuff I'm going to do to it. But, you know, it doesn't matter what you're, what you're using as far as bolt action. It does not have to be a fully upgraded bolt action. Um, you know, you can play with something that's stock out of the box and do just as well. Uh, you don't really have to have to upgrade it. It's probably going to help you in the long run or do it as you go go along. But it's not like an absolute necessi necessi necessity that you uh, go big and, it spend, and spend big. Well, guys, um, I just kind of like the quick rundown of everything. I wish I had more than 15 minutes times on these vlogs uh, for YouTube, but they haven't kicked that open for me yet. So this is Dragon from Arkansas Combat Simulations, Sniper Ops USA, and uh, presented to you by Longbow BBs. Catch y'all next time.